Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mary and welcome back to my channel. Or of course, if you are new here, welcome and thank you so much for joining me today. Now in today's video, I will guide you through a quick tongue, thigh, and booty workout. And in this video, I will be using um, a set of bands. I have a heavy and a medium one here. If you don't have bands, don't worry about it. You don't need them, but I will be using them to add extra resistance for my workout. So with that being said, go ahead, lay out your mat, create some space around you, grab some water and a towel if you'd like it, and we'll go ahead and begin. All right, and for today's first workout, I'm gonna go ahead, grab my heavy band, and place it around both thighs below my knees so they are around my shins. From there, I'm coming all the way to one side of my mat. My feet are about hips distance apart, bring my hands to my hips, and we're coming into a little squat walk. So you're just gonna step gently, slowly, all the way to one side of the mat, leading with one foot, making sure you maintain tension in the band, and just repeat it, leading back to the other side. Timer's on. Start walking all the way to one side of the mat, keeping the knees directly over the ankles, Making sure you have light landings with the feet. You don't wanna to be too heavy here. Making sure your knees are deeply bent and your hips are shifted back and down. Good, hands to the hips. You can even bring your arms forward if you'd like. Making sure the shoulder blades are drawing together. Good, so really just getting into the side of the booty. Outer thighs here. Couple more seconds, hang on, keep it going. Get a little bit lower. That's five, four, three, two, one. Great job, keeping the band exactly where it is around both shins below the knees. Walking the feet slightly wider than your hips. Your toes are parallel. Bring the hands to the hips. We're squatting down, lift, extend right leg, squat down, lift, extend left leg. Timer is on, take it down, lift, extend, down, lift, extend. Good, inhale down, exhale up. Good, so really pushing down with the bottom foot as you alternate. Think about pushing through the center of the heel. Think about shifting the weight back to the heel so the toes are curled up off the mat. Good, as you place the foot down, really, really light touch down. Good, so we're not stamping the foot down like that. It's a nice, easy, gentle step. Five seconds. Here's four. Three, two, one. Great job. And then we are just taking that band above the knees this time. I'm gonna turn to face the short edge of my mat, stepping my right foot forward with the toes turned out. Step the left leg back, cross it behind the right, toes down, heels up, open through the hips here. So an external rotation through both thighs. Tension in the band, and you're just taking this down an inch up an inch. Clocks on, take it, little down, little up. Yes, Kiki. Good, so here really getting into the inner thighs. Think about everything squeezing into the midline, in and up as you lift. Inhale down, exhale up. So let this be small and controlled, let there be tension in the band if you're using one the whole time. Good, really, really tiny movement. Think one to two inches. Nice proud posture, chest is open, shoulder blades pull together. Five seconds, hang on, here's four, three, two, one. And from there, I'm just gonna turn around, stepping my left foot forward, toes turn out, crossing my right leg back behind the left, bending both knees, right knees turned out, left knees turned out, hands to the hips, down one, up one. Time started, little down an inch, up an inch. Inhale down, exhale up. Even think about 
rounding through the tailbone as you lift. Good, so you bring the top of the hip up towards the bottom of your rib cage, really squeezing through the center and low abs. Good, try to stay as low as you can. Try to keep that back right heel lifted. Good, chin is lifted. Couple more seconds, hang on. Five seconds. Here's four, three, two, one. And you can go ahead and remove your band from around your thighs. But now for this next exercise, it's a little bit of a balance challenge. So from here, you're grabbing the band with your left hand, taking one side of the band around the sole of your right foot, and then just hanging onto the other side with your left hand. From here, we're gonna be supported on our right leg. So the right foot is down, the left leg extends back. You look somewhat like a warrior three position. From here, you're lifting the chest, drawing back onto the band, squeezing through the right glutes and the right hamstrings as you lift, and then gently lower back down, keeping everything square facing towards the mat. And if you would like to place both feet down, if you have a little balance challenge issues, Place the band around both soles of the feet, bringing the feet about hip distance apart, still maintaining a grip with only the left hand, and you're just hinging from the upper body, keeping the hips directly over the knees, and then squeeze the seat, squeeze the glutes, a little tuck under of the pelvis as you lift the chest, pulling back onto the band. Timer started, take it, lift. Lower. It's a single leg deadlift. You can bring the back of your right hand to your low back. That's comfortable. That kind of helps me make sure that my back is flat and both of my hips are facing down, but you don't want to open the hips like this. You want to keep everything facing down nice and square. Good, actively contracting through the right quad, making sure you feel like those muscles are wrapping around the bone. So nice and strong here. Inhale down. Exhale up. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Good job. I'm just turning around. This time grabbing the band with my right hand. I'll be supported on my left foot. Taking the other side of the band around the sole of my left foot. Extending my right leg back. Everything facing down. Pulling back onto the band as I lift my chest. Squeezing through the left glute, the left hamstring, and then inhale, hinge back forward. Yes. Now here again, always the option to modify on this side as well, and you should know your modification here. All right, we have 50 seconds on the clock. Take it, lift, big squeeze, lower, and hinge. Maintaining a draw back of the belly button towards the spine, protecting through the low back. The strong press down with the entire left foot. Feel all four corners of that foot. Good, even activating through the back right leg as well. So you push that right heel away and now we'll activate through the top of the right thigh, your quad. If you fall, that's okay. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. And you just have four more exercises to go, so we're gonna be back down onto the mat for the rest of the video. Grabbing for one of your bands, either your heavy or your medium. I like to use heavy for the legs because your legs are strong. Taking the band around both thighs, right above the knees, and coming down to rest onto the right side. So you're propped up onto your right forearm. You're resting down onto the right hip, pulling the right obliques up and away from the earth beneath you so you feel a strong foundation on the bottom right side. Squeeze the outer left seat to lift the left thigh off the right, bringing it to about hip height. And from here, we're tilting the knee up and then tilting the knee down, maintaining the height of the leg. 
So it's kind of like a little seesaw almost. You have 50 seconds on the clock, take it up, external, down, internal, good. So it's a slow, kind of like a hinge. Really, really fighting to maintain that control. You're keeping the knee about the same height. And think about just your left ankle lifting and then lowering, good. Good, awesome. So you can even add a little help with your left hand, making sure that the knee stays at the same height. But so you don't want your knee lowering and lifting, it's just the ankle and the knee just rotates externally and then internally, beautiful. Good, add a push down with the right side, big and strong. Here's five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, and we're just switching around to the left side, so now you're propped onto your left elbow, your left forearm, your left hip, and your left oblique is pulling up and away nice and strong. From there, bring the right hand to your hip, lifting the right leg to about hip height. Same thing, internal rotation and external rotation. Clock down, take it down, internal, up, external. You can even add just a little helping hand, making sure that that right knee is not dropping at all, keeping tension in the band. Good, this is slow. It looks kind of funny, but that's okay. It works. Good, draw the belly button back towards the spine. Everything's shown from the belly button down to the pelvis. Push down with your left elbow. Awesome, five seconds. Here's four, three, two, one. And getting right into your final two exercises. So we're coming to a bridge position. The band is still around the thighs right above the knees. Your feet are hips distance apart. Toes are parallel. Push into the feet, lift the hips. From here, you have a four part combination. I'll show you what you're doing. So you're pulling the right knee in, down, then hips drop and lift. Right side to start, take it in, tap, hips lower, lift. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Good, barely tap the hips down. Good, as you pull the right knee in too, it's almost like a little lower ab work as well. Couple more seconds, then we switch sides. That's four, three, two, one. All right, same thing, left side. The knee pulls in, down, then hips drop and lift. Final 50 right here, take it in, out, lower, lift. Keep the breath going. Good, hang on. Really push down through the right foot as you draw the left knee in, making sure the knees stay directly over the ankles. Keeping tension in the band. Couple more seconds. Hang on, hang tight. Here's four, three, two, one. Awesome job, knees to the chest. You can release the band. Take a light touch beyond the thighs. Round yourself up to a seated position. 
And once you're seated, you can do any stretches that you'd like and then give yourself a pat on the back. Thank you so much for joining me today. As always, if you have a little bit more energy, if you wanted more of a burn, if you have more fire in you, please feel free to check out the rest of my videos. I also just recently posted a full body stretch video if you kind of wanted to just follow along with that video. And my next video coming out should be a one hour long total body workout. And with all that being said, stay healthy, stay hydrated, stay happy, and have a great rest of your day. Oh, 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 oh,